Okay, so this is me doing my makeup the old way with some Ramel 24 hour liquid foundation. Um, just putting it on with the applicator that's in the bottle and then using a magic makeup eraser sponge to blend it all in. Blending. I use some Tarte Shape Tape concealer under my eyes and around my nose to brighten a little bit. Blend that in with the makeup sponge. A couple little blemishes on my chin. Blend it all in. This is a powder blush in a paint color. I can't remember the name exactly. Just put that on my cheeks. And then Wet n Wild illuminating or highlighting powder in the areas where it might need a little brightening. Then let's check it out in the neutral lighting from my window. Looks pretty good. Kind of flat, not too bad, but let's wait a minute and we're going to wash all of that off. Not the eyes, just the foundation. Using my makeup eraser, makeup eraser cloth. It's a microfiber towel. You just wash it all off with water. Now, we're gonna start with my new routine using a setting spray to begin, just to act as a bit of a primer. We're gonna use one brush and one compact of makeup. This is Saint 3D Foundation. This is a Saint 3D brush. We're just gonna pick up a little bit of that foundation on that brush and pat it into my skin on my face. Next, we're gonna use contour. This is a indigo shade. We're gonna contour under the cheeks and the cheekbone area, creating some shadows for dimension along my forehead for more dimension, and then also along the jawline. Blend that in. Blending, blending, blending. Blending. Put a little more on because I blend too much. Want to have those shadows. Don't want them to disappear. Okay, blending. Next up is some bronzer. This is the Bella bronzer with the B2 bronzer blush brush also from Saint. Gonna create some warmth in the areas where the sun would hit and also around my neck to kind of make that a little more blended color. Next, we're gonna do some blush on the cheeks with the watermelon, baby watermelon lip and cheek color. And my hair towel fell off, let's put that away. We're going to continue to blend those colors together with a little more foundation, or rather contour. Maybe a little more highlight color here in a second. This is more contour color, a little bit of a brightening shade. And then we will check it out in the natural light again and see that 3D definition on my cheekbones. And it just looks more defined than the flat one color foundation from the old way. This is the finished old way and this is and this is the finished Saint product and then this is after my hair was done and it's all put together.